Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in today. We're going to be going over a little bit of a uh, Tech Talk type episode with a TBS Unified uh, 5.8 gig video transmitter. If you saw in the last episode, I got stuck on that bridge that burnt up my video transmitter. So I would get flying, you know, maybe like 50 yards out and I would just lose signal. It would kind of go gray and I'd have to come back and hopefully try and uh, recover some video signal. So today we're going to go over uh, putting in one that I have like a, a spare but it needs to get an antenna uh, pigtail put back on so we're going to go over putting the pigtail if you ever need to replace one this will be a good way to uh, show you guys how to do that also I'll be going over all the menu settings for those of you that don't know how to go into some of the menu options and everything and get the right settings set up on the Unify it could be a little bit tricky for some of you so we'll go over that and uh, we might uh, review some other things along the way and we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's get started with this. So, basically this is the, uh, the pigtail that you get uh, with, from TBS. And it's an RPSMA. You can see that there's the uh, the point that's inside there and what we're gonna do is if you take this back off you can see let me see if I get this uh, video to focus here but there's a shielding ground area right here and at the tip of this this is gonna be like a, the signal wire basically that's going to the the tip that's inside of here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Unify here and you can see that there's going to be the three pads that go along here and then this little pad at the top. What this has to do, this has to lay on top of this pad we're going to solder it to the center pad and then we're basically going to join these two outer pads to the center and once we do that then this little tiny tip here that you have to be careful with not to break off we're just going to solder that to the signal pad here and once we get everything going that should be it we'll plug it in we'll check to see uh, how everything is going with the LED right now my there's a blue and red LED here my blue one just fades out you can barely see it everything's pretty much been overheated and done for on that one and uh, we'll plug this one in and see how it goes All right, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna pre-tin this uh, ground shield and wire on the outside of it. That way, uh, you know, I could get a good hold onto the pads here. And then I'm also gonna tin these pads up a little bit. If you guys are having any uh, sort of trouble hearing sorry I got the fan on I'm in Southern California and it's about 110 degrees every day right now and if you're somewhere where it's a lot cooler I envy you so what you got to do is pay attention to where the tip is going to be on this pad I hope you guys can see this while I'm doing it and just heat up the top of this so that way it kind of just sticks right to the pad there so you can see it's it's on now it's on the center pad and then this signal is going to go to uh, that little spot in the center then we'll bridge the two of these outside ones across with solder onto the ground grounded shield there uh, I'm gonna pull this a little bit off camera just to make sure I got everything lined up before we get going again All right, so we got everything here uh, uh, Let me zoom in a little more. All right, so we got everything pretty much soldered up. I got the um, The ground wire of This the shielding wire Soldered to the center pad and then I got the little point that's coming out from the center of this wire uh, soldered up to this little signal point 
Now all I gotta do is bridge solder from these outside pads over the top and we should be good to go. All right, so now we have everything pretty much uh, soldered across. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. And you can see I have it connecting across from here to each pad and then that little signal wire is to the small pad in the center. Um, next thing we'll need is just a little bit of uh, some shrink wrap. We'll put that over the top here. We'll heat it up and we'll be good to go and then we'll get everything plugged in and see how it works and go through the mode settings. Alright, so now this is my old burnt up VTX. If I plug this in, you'll see that the light on here is very faint. You could barely see the blue light blinking, the red light's not even blinking, it's burnt up. It's basically crap now. If we put in the one that I just fixed and put the new pigtail on, we'll be able to see a little bit of a difference already in the LEDs and I'll put you through the menu settings and get this thing set up. Now this one you could already see that the lights are a lot brighter with it. So basically the red light indicator is going to be, um, tell you what channel you're on. Um, it's not going to tell you what channel you're on, but one red light blinking is for channel, two blinks on the red light is going to be for what band you're in, and then the three red light blinks will be how many milliwatts you're pumping out of this thing. Blue light's going to be what channel you're on, what band you're on, and how many milliwatts. Uh, one thing I suggest is this little guy gets really hot, so holding it kind of sucks when you do this, but hold the button down for three seconds. It'll put you into the selection mode. Um, let's see how many blue lights I get. I want to be on channel 7. I'm going to push this down. And then you just count the blue lights and then you'll know uh, what channel you're on. So it looks like I'm on channel 7. Hold this down for 3 seconds. Now it blinks twice. This is for what band I'm going to be on. That's band one, band two, uh, I think this is going to be band five. So now I'm in a uh, race band, which is band five on this one. That's what I want to be in. And now to change the milliwatt selection, this is where it gets a little tricky. So now from th this menu here, basically where you change the bands, you want to hold this down for I think it's 20 seconds or so and then it'll put you into a little three light blink and you'll be able to switch that up. Okay so now you'll see it's blinking three one is for like 25 milliwatts. I forget what that one is. I think it's like 200. Alright, so basically I want to be there. I'm going to hold this down again once I figure out how many milliwatts I want to be at. And that's pretty much it. Now we're all set up, so if I disconnect and I plug back in, uh, these will, indicators will go off, letting me know what channel I'm on and everything and, uh, and all that other good stuff. And then once you get the two lights, so both these lights being on now let me know that this is unlocked. So um, the band frequency I'm on and everything is unlocked. And that's pretty much simplifies everything up. I'm gonna put this guy back together and I'll be back to flying. If there's any uh, other stuff you guys want me to go over in these episodes, please leave me a comment below. And I uh, hope you guys like everything that you see in this episode. It helps you guys, if it helps you guys out, um, let me know. I just wanna get some feedback and everything. Uh, I'm still pretty much in the beginning of this. So thanks for watching and hope to see you guys next time.
on the next episode of Tech Talk, we are going to be going over the Brain FPV F4 flight controller with stackable PDB and integrated OSD.